Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the February, March 2017 IGCC ICT paper 1 2. Um, like I said, um, we started looking at the theory papers, and um, so in the last videos, um, the last video that we did, we ended with step number 10, and in this video, we start looking at step number 11. Okay. So question 11 says that um, a teacher has asked you to use a word processor to create a table of some Indian cities together with their populations. So the required layout is that shown below. Okay, so this is the um, required uh, layout. Okay, so let me just um, calibrate my uh, active bolt. Okay, so just give me a moment. My pen seems to be not aligned with what I, where I want to click. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So the required layout is shown below. Okay. So you have um, this table, um, populations of Indian cities. And then you have city, population, city, population, and those are the names of the cities that are there. The question part A says that describe how you would create this table in a word processor. Okay, so um, you guys, what you're being asked is what are some of the steps that you can use or follow to in order for you to create a table together with the contents um, of this table. Now, you guys, um, you're very familiar. If you open up a word package um, and um, you're asked to create such a table, you do it very well. But what you're being asked for is to describe how you'd go about um, creating this table. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do is to create um, a table. So you mentioned probably places where you'd click um, in a word um, um, processor and um, um, whatever tab that you click, whatever link that you click, uh, what you're going to do okay to come up with a table so first of all you need to know what type of table this is okay so um, you need to understand how many rows how many columns that this table has so the number of rows are one two three four five so you have five rows and the number of columns you have um, one two three four columns okay so the number of columns are um, are, are four and the number of rows are five. Okay, so you can insert a table with five rows and five columns, not five, four columns and four columns. Just write it here. Okay. So, sorry about that. Let's just scroll up there. Okay, four columns. Okay, so once you have this, then you already have the table in place. Okay. Um, also, make sure that the borders are visible. Okay. So once you have the borders visible, then you have the structure of the table. So the next thing that you just need to do now is to add the contents um, or format the table if there is some formatting that is taking place. Notice that um, in uh, in row one, we have actually merged the, f the cells um, for row one. Okay. So you can say merge. Um, actually, you need to select. So select the cells of row one and merge them. Okay. Merge them. The next thing that you need to do is to type in now the information. Okay. So type the heading. And in our case, I'm referring to this heading populations of Indian cities. So you can quote the heading. Okay, so just quote it here. I don't have time to start typing it. So quote the heading and then um, type the heading, okay, and make it bold. Okay, make it bold. Next, type 
the subheadings which are the city names or the city and population so type the subheadings in this case in row 2 and make them italic okay make them italic then go ahead and type in lastly type the city names in column 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 1 and 3 column 1 and 3 and um, they're supposed to be row 3 to row 5 respectively okay and row 3 to 5 respectively okay so that means you have created this table and um, you can get your full marks now guys I've written a lot of stuff here and if you scroll down to um, the number of marks that I indicated in this question you have five marks so it is the duty of the examiner to pick up five points that you have listed here I've listed probably more than five points um, with what I've, I've described here okay but I've just gone in detail and described exactly how you'd go about um, uh, creating this table okay so let's go um, to question um, part B of this question. So when you have completed the table, the teacher asks you to do uh, rather to add some extra cities. You will need to expand the table to add the extra cities. Describe how you can do this. Okay. So practically, there are two ways that you can you can you can do this. Okay. So one of the ways that you can do this is to right click on the table and insert uh, new uh, rows for the table and then add the information that you need. Okay. So one. Um, you can say you can right click on the table and select so a menu comes up and select insert um, either row below or something insert rows below then type the extra cities okay alternatively what you can do uh, since this is just two marks um, this will get you two marks but the other thing that you can do is take so this is just one and two you can take the cursor okay onto the last cell on your table or in your table and press tab key on your keyboard to insert a new row okay to insert a new row so there you go and you can have your full marks from there okay so the next thing that you are supposed to do let's see the next thing that you're supposed to do is to go to question number um, question number 12 okay and probably for this video I'll end with question number 12 so that we can start to look at question number 13 um, in the other video okay so let's see how you can do this I'm um, question number 12 so question number 12 now guys I must say here that um, this paper is it's a very um, interesting paper um, because it contains the topics that you have been doing in the practical um, in the practical uh, paper 2 and paper 3 and now they have brought those questions in a theory exam and you are supposed to um, you are supposed to describe what you do in a practical exam okay now most of you guys if you watch my videos a number of you guys have passed some comments um, um, when I'm working with certain formulas um, on the video on those videos 
um, that why do I type the formulas I, why can't I just use the GUI and just click there and click there and um, um, I mean it makes things easier and I have been of the opinion that you need to know the formula as well as you would I mean as well as uh, knowing just how to click there and click there and things are done okay I remember one time when we did the um, the CIE um, Cambridge International Examination trainings for teachers um, sometime uh, I don't know if that was 2015 or so um, one of the questions that one of the teachers actually from one of the schools asked is why are you bringing stuff that uh, found in practical papers and you bring them in the theory paper I mean is it just enough that the student can do questions that are practical in nature in the practical um, exams why do you bring such questions in the theory paper <laughs> and <laughs> everybody was waiting to hear what the examiner would would, would say actually the, the the one who was running um, um, that training is actually one of the people that prepares these exam papers okay so we had first-hand information of why it is important for you to know the formula and not just click there and click there okay so he said um, students will be tested on the knowledge of that formula okay so for example if you it's it's a formula to do with VLOOKUP okay so the examiner wants you to know not just that you can click there and click there and the formula is I mean is inserted they want you to know if you can use that formula thoroughly do you understand the formula that you are using do you know what is happening okay and this is why you're going to find like in this paper it was filled up with a lot of questions that had to do with practical we just from doing a question on word we are now starting to do a question on PowerPoint okay and later on we are going to do a question on Excel and this is why uh, you're going to appreciate most of my videos that I've been teaching you how to use formulas 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 okay so let me not waste <laughs> so much time here I um, just wanted you to know that it's important for you to know the practical part um, and what you do in the practical exam the things that you play around in the pract uh, practical questions uh, or um, um, activities those things that you, you you play around with you need to know exactly what you're doing okay so hold house design requires um, a new multimedia media uh, presentation for training sessions to be held in Hyderabad Hyder or oh, I don't know if that word it's Hyderabad <laughs> I don't know if it's what or what <laughs> let's just take it that way okay so you have been asked to design a master slide for the presentation okay so the slide must include the following details a labeled rectangular box to represent the hot house design logo a heading hot house design training okay a subheading with the name of the venue city and the name of the trainer Ranjit Desai and slide number and date of the meeting okay so use the space to design a, a master slide for the presentation so this is the space that we have assume this is um, a slide the master slide okay and um, you need to design um, a master slide with the features that are listed here okay so let's start with the first feature a rectangular box to represent the hot house design logo okay so here what we just want is a rectangular box I'm going to insert it there and this one is going to represent the logo suppose there is an image there okay so we're just going to put an image there now you guys are supposed to draw these okay let me just write this draw these using a ruler okay you can notice that mine is not rectangle okay it is somewhat um, it is somewhat I don't know if it's rectangle or not this this side of um, it's, it's a little bit <laughs> longer than um, yeah it's not so much rectangle but anyway just assume it's a rectangle then next you need to insert a heading hot house design training so I'll put my heading here um, it's supposed to be typed as you see it so where there is capital you need to put capital so hot house okay hot house design training okay that looks good hot house design training and then a subheading with the name of the venue city 
So the venue city, if we scroll up there, is going to be held in Hyderabad. Okay. Please don't name your child Hyderabad. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay, so let's name it Venue City. So it's supposed to be subheading. So smaller than the heading. Venue City, Hyderabad. Okay. That's, that looks good too. The next one, we're supposed to add the name of the trainer. So I can put name of the trainer maybe, let's say, where? Okay, I'll put it just below here. I'll say trainer. And I'll put the name of the trainer, Ranjit Desai. Okay. And then you need to put slide number and date of meeting. So scroll down. So slide number, I'll put it here. Remember, slide number on the master slide is a hashtag. Okay. And date of the meeting today is the 11th. So 11th, 12th. 2017 okay and i've inserted all these features um on the slide okay so i think everything is inserted this is one one two three four five of them so one two three four five so one two three four five okay yeah that's 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 fine one two three four five six yep that's fine Part B says, the trainers will need to show the presentation and produce handouts for participants. Name three output devices that they would need. Okay, so if you are using this as a presentation PowerPoint, frame, probably, um, then you probably need um, a projector. Okay, you may need, um, for, your, for your own view yourself, you may need a monitor. Um... You may want also, if you, in case it's a video um, that you're presenting on and stuff like that, you may want maybe something like speakers or you may also want to have um, um, what? Um, if you want to present handouts, then you are talking about printing them for the audience. Okay. So you can choose any three and that will be perfectly fine okay so for this question i'm going to end here and um, in the next video i'm going to continue with question number 13 and um, don't forget to subscribe um, share like uh, comment on this video and i'll see you shortly in the next video